Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I get very excited when I get a package in the mail and Quilty Box came in today. And what's great is I never know what is going to be in it. So it is a surprise every time. So we have a beginner style of quilting by Leah Day. This is a great reference to have. You can never go wrong with thread, and this is an isochore thread. And, oh, a beautiful bundle of fabric. And a new six by six square ruler. And well, I'm definitely needing a new one. I've worn the numbers and the lines off of my old one. But let me show you what I do when I do get a new ruler. Now they do make the rulers nowadays that have a non-slip surface on them. I still like to put something on the back of them. I like to use two different products. One is a whole sheet of clear plastic that goes on the back. And the other one are these little round dots that go on the back. They peel off and they stick onto the back of the rulers. So there's a couple of reasons why I like to add the little dots or the big sheet of plastic over the back. The first thing is, well, it really makes it even non-slipperier than it was. The second thing is, is it raises that surface so the ruler is sort of in a beveled shape and when you put it down it creates a bit of a suction so when you go to cut the edge the fabric does not move underneath and it gets a nice straight cut and the reason i like to use the plastic is it actually protects the numbering and the lettering here is an old ruler and i've had this plastic on for a long long time and you can see it's just a peel and stick and where that plastic is all of the numbers and the lines are just like new and around the outside you can see that I've worn off that paint from the ruler so the entire inside is still just like new and the lines are perfect it is important that you leave a little bit of a space around the edge when you put on the plastic. If it comes right to the edge, it has a tendency to pick up and move. Anything that brushes it will actually catch that little lip and it will peel the plastic off. So it's important that you have a little bit of a space all the way around. And well, it'll keep your ruler like new and it will keep it from slipping and sliding. From the clear grip to the clear dots, there's a lot of good uses for them, more than just preventing your rulers from slipping. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.